Well, hey there, good morning. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM on this thankful Thursday. And guess why I'm thankful? I'm thankful that I have an amazing guest co-host who has so much positivity and energy, she's gonna jumpstart your day in the best way. Please welcome Brandy Clifton. Hi everybody, good morning. good morning. Oh my gosh, that little song, and we had the hands going. We were dancing. Like what a great day. It is, you've made it a great day I'm for being so here. excited to be here. Brandy, I know we're gonna catch up with you later, and we're gonna find out about your family and everything happening, but how are you? I am good. Mm -hmm. I am, every day at the city is a good day, and I had my Taylor Swift going in the car ride up here. Nice, Got yeah. to see the sunset, and oh. I said, I'm gonna sit next to my friend Jeremy Raiden, we're gonna make some TV. We're making we're TV. We're gonna make some TV today. Okay, quick question then. Uh, for today, I'm assuming you had to get up a little extra early. What time do you normally get up in the morning? And I then usually go to bed? get up about 6:30. Okay. My husband will say that's a lie because I <laughs> snooze a couple times. Today it was five o'clock, and it's okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh yeah, we brushed the hair and yeah, all the things. But I was laughing because I had a dream last night. Okay. That <laughs> you, you called me and you said, Brandy Clifton, you're not gonna believe who I got on the show for us to talk to you. Do you know who it was? Who? You said it was Queen Elizabeth. And I said, you're in the grave. I think that's going to be kind of hard. Like, I, I think she's died. And you're like, no, no, she's she's on the show today with us. And so now I heard a little, like, little rumble in my ear. Yeah. And I was like, Elizabeth. Elizabeth? She's behind me, isn't she? Where's the queen? <laughs> she's the behind queen. me. She's over in the weather lab. I don't know. I but it was you. so convincing. And I think I had that dream because I was watching Harry and Meghan on Netflix. Oh. So the queen was in your brain. I guess. I would have. Oh my gosh! I guess. You imagine though. Imagine though, if you could have interviewed the queen. What would the you stories, say? The stories. The stories she had. Like, would you cook with her? Because she's so tiny. She was tiny, and she no. would like chop the little vegetables. I would love to ask her. I heard. I don't remember what it was, but I heard she had like a very set routine on food. She would eat like basically the same thing every night. There was a schedule of what she ate. I don't remember what yeah. it was. Do you think she would eat what we're gonna make today? Ooh, I think she would. <laughs> if we made it for it's her, it's gonna be delicious. Guess what we're making later? I delicious. hope. I had to text Brandy to make sure she liked it. Pork fried rice. Oh, <gasps> that's mm. a good morning when you get to eat that for breakfast. Yeah. Totally worth it. Here's the thing, when you're used to getting up early, I could eat anything at 6 a.m. and it'd be normal, like curry. Yeah. I'll eat it. Let's do it. And by the way, you just, you posted a picture of a queso injected burger in I'm Branson. I'm still, like, yes, I've a never flaming seen that. margaritas at the landing. It was $12, which you really can't even buy a fast food meal for that anymore. And so it was this burger and the guy brings it out to me and there's like this big syringe thing in it. I'm like, what's that situation all about? It was filled with queso, and so you squeeze the little choo -choo 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 -choo. that's how the sound it makes, choo -choo 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 -choo. and the queso goes into your burger. Mind blown, best burger I've ever had in my life. When you posted that, A, it made me hungry. It <laughs> was so it good. Made me good. It looked amazing. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I'll probably just eat half of that. Happy plate, <laughs> smashed it, the whole thing, ate the whole thing. Do I, okay, you know what, sometimes on our show, we have a, a segment called Clone Kitchen, where we try to replicate a Let's restaurant's recipe. I want to replicate the queso syringe. It's brilliant. Into the burger. At and first, I thought I got yeah. to take the syringe home to do it myself, but I don't. Because I could have just like syringed queso, you know? I'll tell you, Maddie and I, we could do that. I That's know. our dream. Oh, it's bad. Maddie, I will show you the picture when she comes back oh, from the we wedding. Miss her. We yes. will um, maybe duplicate that. Mm -hmm. Maybe have you back to do yeah, a taste let's test. Do it. Okay. I'm on it. Um, but first, Jesse and Angela, good morning, friends. Good morning. Hello. Hey. Good to see you. Hello. Look who's here, Brandy from Summer City. Brandy. Um, thanks for joining us I'm today. I'm so here. Yeah. yeah, thanks for yeah. stepping in. It's going to be a good day. Have you guys ever heard of a queso injected burger? No, but no. I'm really glad that I have. Because uh, we were no. actually just talking about how I want to do a road trip to Branson here sometime soon. Because there's this yeah. new milkshake place I want to try. Yes. But Branson has the funnest stuff. I'm they like, do. I want to go. Yeah. Queso burger, guys. Mm -hmm. Do it. Yeah. That queso burger me. and a milkshake bar. Like, uh, like great. Thanksgiving where you're just loading the turkey up with all kinds <laughs> oh. of, you know, Oh, with the gravy. That's what reminded me of. Yeah. yeah, the baster thing. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah, load that thing up mm -hmm. with some cheese. I Can't should, beat it. We yeah. should do that. Brandy, I heard you say you were uh, rocking out to some Taylor Swift on your it way was. in here this morning. Mm -hmm. I get that. She's got a new album coming out. Like oh, today. Yeah. Like today. You're yeah. Right. Today. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tough yes. day, people. I so, know. So uh, 11 p.m. tonight. Brandy's gonna stay up for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's Listen getting up to early for it too. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 I can imagine Tom. Doing it. Tom actually um, has early. He access. knows all the things. All the songs. <laughs> well, speaking yeah. of songs, all right. The National Recording Registry has uh, cemented the legacy of 25 songs into history here. So the registry announced its 25 inductees 
to be designated by the Library of Congress as culturally or historically significant. They do this every year. This year, the list includes ABBA's 1976 album Arrival, Notorious B.I.G.'s Ready to Die album, Blondie's breakthrough album Parallel Lines, Jefferson Airplane's Surrealistic Pillow, you got the Cars debut album there, Green Day made the list for their Dookie album, and Gene Autry's 1949 version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now that's a Lily list. Tomlin too? Uh, yeah. Oh, only, and uh, Rudolph. The only comedy recording, the only non like music uh, selection this year is the Lily Tomlin recording there. Mm. So uh, yeah, uh, some others included uh, Wide Open Spaces oh. by the Chicks. By the Chicks. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, yes. Uh, that's a, that's one. Um, I need to go check uh, there, this out. I mean, you can make a playlist based say on Dancing what's there. Queen so, is Dancing there, Queen, right? the album that Dancing Queen was on. Uh, Jesse, I thought right for a back. second you were going to say, like, of the new 25 inductees, all of the inductees were <laughs> Taylor Swift. That's where <laughs> I thought you were going. <laughs> I was like, oh, of course. I mean, I, it's bound to happen yeah. soon. Oh, that's like, good stay choice. tuned yeah. for that. I would not be surprised yeah. if that's yeah, this, coming up soon. This list comes out um, every year, and it's not always music either. Like. The um, like the Mario song, that was on last year or two years ago. Oh, that makes sense. So like just that's a snow day from school. Yeah, it is. Oh man, oh my gosh, too funny. Back when video games were just two buttons and oh, I miss that. That's all you need. You don't need all the things. I agree. Do dabs and do hickeys and the. I am impressed with you. Maybe your sons do this. When they hold it and you have to do like everything now yes. with all the fingers. So I don't know how to do crazy. that. And the people spin. Like I'm, you just need to go left or right. I remember when I was Thank little, you. I had like, when I was cool, I got like a Game Boy. Yes. And then my friends like one-upped me and got a Nintendo DS with like the little like stylus and stuff. But you I couldn't. So cool it was right. I was like, it was pink. It was cute. But like this, I didn't understand the whole little. Yeah. I still it was don't. Too it's much. It was too much. Walk I like to the, it. again, mm -hmm. buttons are good. Mm -hmm. Well, most of us think Pollen and allergies are the big issue during spring. I know many of us, us, me, including this morning, we're struggling with the sneezing, Achoo. you know. <laughs> but in Florida, though, they got to deal with it. this. So it's alligator mating season. Last week, someone Not recorded a bicyclist close encounter with this huge gator as it just crossed the road. I think that's a joke here. So, like, <laughs> so the woman says she then spotted <laughs> another alligator just seconds later. So from now through June, experts say the reptiles will be out looking for love. Oh, yeah. He's just totally so wrong when he lives a there. a greater chance <laughs> of some alligator encounters. No. Gator love. Wow. Oh, oh, I like that. Man. Look how big this is. Look at the Look, bike. They're just chilling. The like, it's Florida. I feel they're used to this. You know, it's tail just, off the street, sir. It's just a sir. typical day. The guy on the bike is just going along like that's just normal. Yeah, this yeah. Well, Florida. I will say the very first time I ever went to Tampa, I was visiting a friend, mm -hmm. he and his wife, and they lived in this kind of condo by a swamp. Yeah. Anyway, we got home from dinner one night and there was an alligator on the front porch of the condo. Yeah. And he had just, he had uh, animal control on speed dial because they're, like you said, so they're used, used to, to it. it. Oh. So like, yeah. yeah, I got a gator on the porch again. That's blah, blah, blah. That had come out. Wow. That's a life that would not be my journey. I don't know. I know. So <laughs> when I was down there, I was telling them earlier how, because so my family lives in Boca, it's on the other side, the Atlantic side. And I remember just, I was doing my morning walk. And the entire time, I was just keeping my eyes peered for gators. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, man, what if they're, they're out here? But they're not that common on the East Coast side. It's more like the Gulf. You know, uh, yeah, I was here. Mm. Yeah, you know right. the Everglades and stuff, which is very common. But I mean, it still happens out there. Too, we got like but. squirrels and groundhogs out here, and that's like the worst of yeah, all. Yeah, they're like so. deer. Deer. Yeah, deer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're crazy out here. I got oh, the deer. Well, funny. note to uh -huh. self: don't. I wouldn't let my kids go out and play. I'd be too worried. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs>